have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming out to uh, Crankworks Ladies Alp, and let's have a great weekend. Yeah, it's hard with the altitude. My heart is up, and uh, I, I need to recover a little bit before the start. <laughs> And with this stage one, are you looking to put in a big effort since it's got a lot of climbing and stuff? Yeah, uh, at the beginning you have a, a little climbing, maybe 20 seconds, and after at the middle, maybe one minute of uh, climbing. It's not so bad, but it's a, <laughs> it's a downhill huh, in first. <laughs> See you. bit of reading to sort of uh, distract myself from the late start you know otherwise you sit there just thinking of the race so yeah it's good what are you reading today oh, it's a bit of Lawrence van der Post. some of the sections I didn't go over too many times because they're sort of straightforward but they sort of sit on your mind as being you know not not clear but you have to I think trust that they they are clear because you know that they are straightforward and there's not that many lines to choose so you know I hope when I race them it's uh, um, as clear as I remember so you just follow the lines and yeah should be good. It takes me a while to get into, into the day anyway, so the later we start, the better. I was going to get up really early this morning because I thought we'd be starting at 9, so when I heard it was like 12 or something, I was like, oh sweet, I can just stay in bed and then get into it later in the day, so it's quite good, I reckon. this weekend definitely uh, I just had a really good day riding yesterday uh, and doing some quite easy runs looking at lines and then 
you get a chance to ride it uh, quickly before the race. So <coughs> that worked out really well, I think. First stage was the place to be because after the stage one, if you are not in the in the top position, you will not make it back. And uh, my strategy was to start not too fast at the top, and then uh, do the uphill and, uh, and pin it. And I didn't think I would have such a big gap. I thought I, I just want to be in the top five. And finally, when I see that, uh, I was really surprised and. I thought it could be a good opportunity to win one World Series. He catch me almost, eh? 25 seconds, he starts 30 seconds, so I have him in my house all the second half on the stage. It was tough, uh, it was really tough, but uh, it was super physical and uh, we have to pedal hard at the start, we have to, uh, to pedal super hard on the middle, it was super steep. And I give uh, my best and uh, I, I said the second time so it was quite good but uh, he was just in fire and in good shape and kill us there after the, the, yeah, the, the time stay uh, we, we knew that uh, Jay is really smart so we knew that uh, if, he, if, if someone like him was leading uh, with uh, this big gap it was tough even if we were just after the first stage so. you been up to? Well, I spotted a line in the top rocks on two and it involved a bit of commitment and you like landed on a bit of snow and I thought if anyone does this then it'll be screwed because you get cross rutted. So I just saved it for the race run and uh, as I came in burped a load of tyre out, air out my front tyre and then gassed a flat onto the fire road so yeah. it was a wild moment. Yeah I saw a line yesterday that I thought it wasn't too wild but it was just like tight like high line drop to low line and like Sven Warren saw it and he went wild so I was going to do it in my race run but someone put a dirty red pad in the way so I was like what do I do and then just sent it further to the left and it was this massive hot flat and then I was just like oh <laughs> and rolled the next corner so I can do it <laughs> but it was all good <laughs>
months, obviously you can't change wheels and frame and stuff, but you can change tyres throughout the day of an enduro and made the decision that I needed good rolling for, for stage one because it was some brutal climbing, so I had a pretty fast rolling tyre on the back for that, but then opted to put a, a more grippy downhill casing, again, just for security of the casing and also just to help me with the braking and the traction. There was you know a lot of braking, a lot of off camber as well, so putting a downhill tyre on after stage one was, was my plan and helped me out definitely this afternoon. I did a mistake on the rock section, I slide, lose, lost three seconds I think, uh, but after I ride well on, uh, on uh, in some parts, I was a bit surprised to set the best time after the small mistake, but happy, and, uh, yeah. and I think Jerome just saved uh, save his lead. One tough day, I think. Um, for me, that's the hardest one of the World Enduro so far, which is kind of ironic considering it's probably the most downhill of them all. But uh, yeah, I just think I've been concentrating on getting fit and getting strong for the pedaling, and this was probably the most downhilly one of them all. So the old, the old hand pump and arms came into came into play a little bit on the final stage, and yeah, it was it was hard. It was so rough and so steep and fast. Um, you know, four stages of that, keeping concentrating. The track blew out so much from yesterday's practice to then two or three hundred riders ahead of us today as well. It was it was mad how much it had changed. So yeah, just absolutely yeah, super happy to have been able to have kind of kept it together today really and to have taken a win on three very, very different world enduros so far this year and to be able to win all threes it's pretty mad really. Never expected to have done that when I started out at the start of the season. So yeah cool, kinda of glad I've got a weekend off now because uh, I think I'm ready for it. <laughs> Like I was riding in New Zealand when I was on the grass sections, and then, and then riding, fucking really like tight switchbacks, and then yeah, some gnarly fast sections, and yeah, it was pretty. Like some of the sections that you rode was pretty like gnarlier than a World Cup. Like I think, yeah, the second stage, fucking there was like trials between rocks, and if you went down, you're pretty much dead. So yeah, it was pretty gnarly day. Lucky to go come away with no injuries and no mechanicals. So yeah, I'm happy.
pretty confident for the last one. I put a uh, mud tire because it was raining a little bit and uh, just made my race, not thinking about time and just... I didn't enjoy it really, it was a bit of stress, but uh, I made it and uh, winning this race is, is awesome for me. It was my main goal for the season, just win a race of the World Series. Now it's done and uh, I can enjoy the rest of the season. Just happy to, to keep my second place after the first stage. Uh, I did a good second stage. I uh, didn't ride well on the third one, and not so bad on the fourth, just to save the place. So I'm uh, I'm happy just because I could didn't do better. So. And I won last weekend, second this weekend, so it's good.